Okay, Lou Depot back here with a quick tip on why the tub leaks. And when I say why the tub leaks, I'm specifically talking about water dripping downstairs, if it's an upstairs tub, through the ceiling into the downstairs, whether it be the downstairs bathroom or even in a basement. But every time someone takes a shower, no matter how much they try to stop it, water drips downstairs. And I'm going to show you the main reason. I mean, there are a few reasons. One would be the tile wall, where the plumber actually puts the faucet up. You got the three handles sticking out, maybe a single level shower body, but they cut a hole in the tile. And the escutcheons, the chrome escutcheons that hide that hole. The silicone or putty has worn away and water drips into the tile holes in the wall and drips downstairs. That's one way, but that's common and people see that and try to fix it. The other way is water running off the tub and dripping through the floor. That's very common also. The tub is level and the water runs off and you can't see it. It runs down the corner and floods out the floor and eventually gets downstairs. But the third way that I'm most talking about that nobody could see is this guy right here. The trip lever. Now the trip lever has a thing where you want to take a bath. You can flip it up. If you want to let the water down, it'll drain down. That trip lever, and by the way, when you look under your tub, you'll always see the water dripping off this thing somewhere. That trip lever has this gasket hidden where you can't see it. All you can see when you look in the tub is this guy, this chrome handle. You can't really see the gasket hidden behind the tub. Now this is how it looks in the back of the tub, because now you can see, of course the drain would be in the tub, and the chrome trip lead would be in the tub. But this rubber gasket back here, that sits in the back of the tub, and it's here because if you ever did decide to take a bath and go fall asleep and leave the water running, as the water fills up in the tub, it'll go into this hole, and, and from underneath here, and go into the drain, instead of overflowing and flooding out the floor. That's the design. It's called the trip lever waste and overflow. The overflow saves the tub from flooding out if you forget the water's running. But it's got a gasket in the back, so when that water does overflow and go in there, it goes into the pipe and down the pipe instead of dripping down. But these gaskets dry out and dry rot, and you can't see it because it's behind the tub. You can only see in front, and this gasket is always, always, 90% of the time, the problem why it's leaking. And there's a very simple test. You could just pour water straight down the drain and have somebody look and see if it's leaking, or then you could shoot water onto this chrome thing. And as soon as they do that, 90% of the time, you'll see the leak, because this gasket has dry rotted out. And when you take a shower, the water bounces off your body and hits there. So that gasket has to be replaced, and it's difficult because these gaskets, when they sell the replacement gaskets, they're fat on the top and skinny on the bottom because they expect that most tubs are actually on a bit of a curved angle in. So they make the gasket so it's fat here and skinny here, so it squares off and seals. But that's not always the case. Every time I've tried to do one, I could see air when I look in there. And if you can see air when you look in there, that's a leak. The best bet is if you can't get that gasket right, because when you turn it, it changes. It's fat on the top and skinny on the bottom. And this one is too. If you look, the top is fat. Oh, it's hard to see. And the bottom is very skinny. But as I always found out, is if you take the fat part and put it to the top, and then you simply turn it a quarter turn, so the fat and skinny part is now at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock, then that's always a guaranteed seal, because this, this trip can turn. And it can turn with the contour of the tub sideways. Because most tubs now that I've come across, and it's been that way for a very long time, they're not, con they're not angled like that. But they're square. They come straight down and like that, and they have the hole where the trip lever goes in the back of it. So my suggestion to you 
is if you get a gasket that's fat on top and skinny on the bottom, turn it sideways because you can take the contour up by turning this. This doesn't matter. The chip lever is still going to work. No matter how much this is turned on an angle, it wouldn't matter. But it'll take the angle of that fat and skinny and squeeze it against the back of the tub nice and tight. And that will stop your leak every time. This will save you a nightmare of going nuts trying to figure out what's leaking. And by the way, there is a possibility, real quick, that there could be putty or silicone that has worn out from underneath there. Normally there is a, um, a rubber gasket that goes on the trip lever, and then this chrome plate gets putty or silicone on the bottom, and then it's screwed in because this touches the tub. And you can't have metal on metal because that leaks. So there could be silicone or a putty issue underneath that drain. That's very rare. More times than not, it's this big gasket in the back of the tub called the overflow gasket. I hope this helps you guys.